But basically, we have put out a video every single day since we started with that one exception. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth Cabin. And a year ago today, we didn't have the Commonwealth Cabin. I was inside, I wasn't even in the eBay cave. I think I was for a little bit. I was walking down from the eBay cave down to a closet at the other end of my basement where I had a Ralph Lauren polo jacket that I bought for 20 bucks at a garage sale. And I thought, you know what? I've always said I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and I'm gonna learn how to do this because my kids are gonna be homeschooled and I want them to know how to do this kind of stuff as they grow up because this is the world we're going to live in where you have to market not necessarily yourself, but market what you can do to other people. And social media is becoming media in a lot of senses. And so I wanted them to be able to learn how to do that in their homeschool experience. So I'm like, hey, what do I know how to do? I know how to coach baseball and I know how to sell junk out of the bottom of my house in my basement over here, my eBay cave. And so that's what I did. It was odd because I have no skills whatsoever. Some of you think I do actually, but I don't have any technological skills. I just don't. Now I, I have more than some folks, I suppose, but it's very, very limited and neither does my wife for that matter. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna put it up just so I know that I can do it. And of course I'm filming this way and it's just awful. And I was looking at the thing. I mean, it's terrible. I don't even want you to go back and look at it. That's how bad it was. But we did it. And I'm very OCD. So if you have been around this show for a while, you know that I'm a little bit OCD. I mean, just, just look at this place. There's all kinds of things. If you really pay attention that you'll see about me, that kind of shows you that. And so since that day, May 21st last year, I put out a video on May 22nd, May 23rd, May 24th, May 25th. I've put out a video every single day. A couple times I put out two videos on the Commonwealth Picker channel. Two or three times we did that. And finally, December 25th, Christmas Day, I told my wife, you know what, I'm not gonna do a video. She's like, really? <laughs> Are you sure? I didn't put out a video on Christmas Day, but we have put out 300, actually more than 365 videos in 365 days, because there have been a few days where we put out two. But basically we have put out a video every single day since we started with that one exception. And as a matter of fact, for the last, I don't know, five months or so, we've put out three, at least three videos a week on the Commonwealth Flipper channel as well. So we have put roughly, you know, eight to nine videos out a week since we started this thing. And it has just blown my mind. I, you know, the original goal here was to do exactly what I said and kind of teach my kids a little bit. And you guys embraced us. So many people embraced us. So many people in the YouTube community and the eBay community have embraced us. And we are eternally grateful to you guys for making that possible for us. We are glad you enjoyed the show at least enough to watch it every now and again. Now, I don't want to make this entire show about this because I want to show you what's sold today as always. And I want to do two more things. So let's get to that real quick and we might revisit this a little bit later. All right, so the first thing kind of in honor of our one year anniversary here on YouTube is we are gonna put this thing out for auction. We're gonna sign it, I'm gonna sign it, everybody's gonna sign it, somewhere on here. I'm not sure if we wanna put it on the front. I'm not sure where we'll put it. We might put it all down here on the pocket. We're gonna sign this in a man scrub that came from Patriot Picker. Bill from Flips to Pay the Bills won this on an auction on Troy Mountain Man Treasures show and he just said donate all the money. He just gave all the money to St. Jude's and he said keep it, put it on an auction, sign it, put it on an auction and auction it off again. So we're gonna put this on eBay, we're gonna give it a shot. By the time you're seeing this, it will be on an eBay auction, and all we ask is that you don't bid on it unless you plan on buying it. We don't really care, you know, if this goes for 10, 20, 30, 100 bucks, whatever it goes for, doesn't matter. All of the profit from this item is gonna end up going to St. Jude's, and that's gonna kind of give us a culmination for the month. St. Jude's was the charity my daughter chose for the month of May. So we're gonna do that, and then in honor of this one year anniversary, we had a gift today sent from a viewer, and there's something in there that they want to talk to you. Matter of fact, 
Let me grab this guy too. This was never claimed. So if you won this, I'm going to give you a day or two more. And then we're going to give this thing away again on another show. So there's two giveaways. I have an Inman giveaway over on Instagram that I haven't actually done. I need to do that tonight and post it over there. But check over there soon. It'll be out for sure. We were going to do an Inman giveaway and I was supposed to put it out last Monday. And it kind of blew my mind with Reagan being on, on Mountain Man Treasure Show. So we have that giveaway. And then we had another viewer send us something. I, know, I haven't opened it up, but I know what it is. And probably in the next day or two, we're going to give away something else as well. And I'll give you a little bit of a hint. I often use this type of item when I'm over here doing my packaging and shipping. And so somebody sent us one of those to give away. So you want to come back tomorrow or the next day and hopefully win one of those. All right, let's start with a couple what solds here. We'll do a few in here and then we've got a few inside in the eBay cave. One homeschool hustler sale as well. So Twisted Radio Waves, this did not go out to a viewer. $6.61. We're down to like 540 left or something. Have a pair of uh, Woman's Shape Up Skechers that sold $22, I think, plus shipping. I pick these up when I see them. You know, where we live, shoes are hard to come by. You know, it's not the wealthiest area, and people wear their shoes until they fall off their feet most of the time. There's one area in Roanoke that's really good for shoes, and one area deep past Lynchburg that's pretty good as well and we uh, do okay with shoes over there but for the most part not really good i buy them but i don't tend to sell them because of condition let me show you something real quick what we have just to give you an idea of what i'm talking about so here's a tub right here this is the michigan tub full of shoes i have the oklahoma tub full of shoes i have the kansas tub full of shoes although those are mostly kids shoes baby shoes I have the iowa tub full of shoes so four tubs of shoes in here out of all these tubs so we don't typically kill it when it comes to selling shoes but i will pick them up from time to time and that's a pretty good one i probably paid two or three bucks for those sold them for 22 they're in pretty good condition and so i'm pretty happy with that kind of sale all right we have these mousetrap balls back there right there underneath the jack daniels lynchburg lemonade or actually that that direction not underneath it we have the mouse trap balls they sold for 5.99 free shipping we make two bucks every time we sell a pair of those all right, now these are the kind of shoes I do like to sell. These are some Air Jordan Retros. I don't know what size. I think uh, size 7. And they sold for $18.50 plus shipping. I think that's right. If I wrote that down correctly, plus shipping. These are the kind of shoes I like to pick up. If I can grab them for under 5 bucks, I'll grab them. And they usually sell pretty quick. These took forever to sell. And they're in pretty good condition. And I like selling these because you can put these things in these boxes. You can put them in the 6x4x4. By four by four. Not these. These are too big to fit in there, but not by much. But you can put the smaller kids' shoes, the baby shoes, in these no problem. These will have to go in the 8x6x4, by by four, but they will definitely stay under 16 ounces. And I, if they didn't stay under 16 ounces, I would probably put these in a padded envelope. I do tell people when I sell shoes, if I'm going to ship them first class, I tell them in advance, I tell them in the description, and a lot of times I'll send them a message after they buy it just to confirm it so they don't get mad. All right, I'm going to grab you again. This game up here sold, this Cargo's game. It is, I thought I sold my very last game the other day. I thought I sold my very last board game, and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. They have all sold out. I haven't been sold out of board games in like eight years. But then I found two more kind of really small games, the Auto Bridge, the Vintage Auto Bridge games, and those haven't sold. But other than that, I've sold out every single board game I had. I don't know if I told you that. It sold for $20 plus shipping. I remember the garage sale I bought it at. It was before I started doing YouTube, and I bought it at a garage sale on a terrible rainy day. It wasn't a rainy day. It was supposed to hold off and be a pretty good day, and I decided to go to Roanoke, and then it started raining. And I hit a couple sales on the way home that had already closed down, and I found one that was in a garage and they were still open. There was nobody there and they were ready to sell stuff. They didn't have much to buy, but I ended up buying that thing for a dollar and ended up selling it, of course, for 20 bucks plus shipping. All right, sold another one of these guys. This is the one I sell for a little bit less. This sunglass one, as opposed to the wink one and the heart one, the flirt one, is a really tough seller. But now we're finally down to two. I think $8 plus shipping. I paid $2.50, so I'm not making much money on these guys at all but we are making some money and we're almost done with them finally and i had bought i don't know 50 or 60 of these or so and we're down to i think three or four left we're doing a giveaway on this show and this giveaway is compliments of two girls picking penny and emily and they have a youtube channel by that name <laughs> there goes boots and i'm gonna show it to you in just a second and i will try maybe i won't maybe i'll link it at the end of the video i'm not quite sure but i'll show it to you in just a second 
and they wrote a really nice note and they sent these car coasters, put them inside of little car cup holders. And that is awesome. And we are gonna get to keep one and we're gonna put it in my car, I think, even though they said they would make one for Blue Ridge Mama if she has a logo. And they say, tell Reagan she's doing a great job, Penny and Emily. So thank you so much, we do appreciate it. And look, a motorcycle tag from her husband. And we're gonna find a great place for that in the Commonwealth cabin as well. And we appreciate it. So if y'all want some coasters, you want some Commonwealth Picker coasters, would you put coasters, two girls picking in the comments below and you'll be entered to win one on a future video. All right, and there is their channel, two girls picking right there. Go check them out. All right, what kind of an anniversary video would it be if we weren't in the place where it all started here in the eBay cave? Matter of fact, if you go back and look at those very first videos, this was kind of a drab place. But we spruced it up a little bit and we made it kind of a little bit of a home. It's been my home for like six years. I've been doing eBay for 20, just about coming up on 20 years here pretty quick. I've done it in three different homes, but this one by far. Matter of fact, this house we bought with the intention of using different spaces for eBay. So it was really the first house we bought with that in mind. And this place is my home. And that Commonwealth cabin out there is my home as well. But we do have a few things to show you that sold in here. So let's take a look. First one here is just a run of the mill vineyard vines, women's, I guess, I don't know what you call these. They're polos, but they're sleeveless. And it didn't sell for a bunch, but it did sell for $14.81. And I think it was a $2 buy is what we paid for this one because it was a 50% off deal at the Goodwill. So this is one of those that you're just surprised that it makes it four weeks without selling vineyard vines. But sometimes this stuff does because we live out in the sticks. There's not a lot of people who would be proud of wearing vineyard vines. And some of these little places out here is a little too preppy for them. Now where I teach down there in Lynchburg, there's a pretty good contingent of folks that would love to wear something like this. All right, this vintage dress from the Sunny Shares sale sold for $22.95 plus shipping the 70s dress. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna add it to our total. That's the total that we're splitting with Sunny on this consignment sale. And we are glad we did it. We're glad that we've had some things to sell off during this time where we haven't been able to source. Speaking of, I've got to get out to a garage sale, y'all. You know, it's hard for me not to go to, it's hard to get through the winter and then things just start to ramp up and then they get shut down. It's time to get out to some garage sales. I'm jealous of people who are out there doing garage sales and going to thrift stores. My Goodwill's not supposed to open up for another three and a half weeks and there's virtually no garage sales around here. So we might take a little bit of a trip south on a Saturday morning, see if we can hit a few. All right, Keith has been buying, seems like one or two things every day lately. And Keith, we do appreciate it. And he's got some good taste. He picks some of the vintage stuff up. So this is old Holly Hobby lunchbox. I think this was $24.95, 1972. If it had the little thermos thing that was inside of it, it would be easy, $55, $65, $75 for it, depending on condition. And this Scotch 3M tape, the vintage, is that called tartan? I think that's called tape and he bought that and he also bought this and both of those items that tape and this were from the same sale garage sale folks these people were ready to sell and that was a fun one we had a good lady that was kind of interacting with us at that sale and we bought this one this might have been a dime this money clip and keith says here when i'm reading this here and then i want to talk about the clip itself hi kevin i'm buying more awesome treasures out of your store i hope you and your family are doing well god bless you and your family a loyal fan of your channel Keith from Minnesota. So this thing right here is, it says Balfour on it. I think that's the company who made it is my guess. There's a tiny, I had to use a magnifying glass to find it, but I did finally spot it on here. And it says Elizabeth II, South African Elizabeth II, three pence coin money clip. So of course the British, oh boy, here we go. All right, give me 30 seconds to be a history teacher because it's been months since I've been a history teacher. So I don't know when this thing was made, but I'm gonna speculate a couple things here. Just by looking back into the history, Balfour is a famous name in British history. Obviously this is British, they controlled South Africa. Now this would have been sometime, I guess, after the Boer War, maybe during World War I. This would have been made later. This would have obviously been made later than that. I mean, we have Elizabeth II on it, for goodness sake. But I'm just looking back into the context of this type of an item here, because it does say South African Elizabeth II, three pence, coin so balfour is famous in uh, if this is the same family maybe the balfour declaration is i think 1918 which is the declaration from the british 
who were the world's preeminent power, America was eclipsing it at the time in the second decade of the 20th century, and we were soon to eclipse them for good after World War One and after World War Two. It was clear we were a, a superpower. At any rate, forget all that for a second. And Balfour was the name of the declaration that basically paved the way for Israel to become a nation. I guess 30 years after the fact, so in 1948. I don't know if there's any connection there, but when I see things like Balfour and Elizabeth II and South Africa, it just arouses the history teacher in me, I guess. So Keith, you're getting an interesting piece, and if you find out some more information about it, send me a message, send me an email or Instagram, or put some message in the comments. I'd, I'd be curious to know a little bit more history about this money clip. And I just saw you got another anime and says, Hi, I told my girlfriend Janet about your channel. She is a big fan, so I ordered her an anime as well. Thank you and your family for making the world a better place. God bless Keith from Minnesota. So that's very, very kind of you, Keith. We do appreciate it. We hope your girlfriend enjoys this guy. I will see if I can put a link. I'll probably put it back where I was talking about it to that video. It was a cool one. Speaking of cool videos, this one was really cool where I got these two. And it's a perfect segue since we were just talking about the creation of the state of Israel starting in 1918 and, and finally being created in 1948 <laughs> because I bought these Christmas ornaments from a Jewish family at a yard sale and I thought that was cute and that lady who was at that yard sale was just precious they actually were selling these things off I think for a friend of theirs and so she was <laughs> so she was kind of making light of the fact that they were Jewish selling Christmas ornaments and I was playing along but uh, these are Duncan ornaments they do pretty good 1970s I think 1976 Duncan ornaments and actually I'm thinking now that they sold off of the other store and I pulled them out and I don't know what they sold for my guess if I remember correctly they weren't too much there are some Duncan ornaments that sell for quite a bit of money these aren't those unfortunately i want to say they sold for about eight dollars plus shipping for the for the pair so anyway you can go back and watch that video i'll try to link that video here as well it's a fun one so if i have an old video suggestion it's usually because i remember it fondly because of the people not necessarily the items that i buy so that's kind of how i judge my videos i had a blast at that sale and there was some good stuff don't get me wrong a lot of it sold in the booth but that video was fun to make all right, one last Inman going out, and I don't know if this is a viewer or not, but if it is, Elsie, we do appreciate the purchase, and we'll get them out to you quickly. And we do have one more Homeschool Hustler sale back in the Commonwealth cabin. If I haven't put it on already, I don't think I have. Maybe I have. Who knows? Sometimes I get confused. At any rate, one year on YouTube, and we are still incredibly overwhelmed by the reception we have gotten and by how many people enjoy watching me make videos down here and i know it's not because of me i know it's because of those cute kids i have my beautiful wife and of course my dog and some of you for whatever reason want to watch because of pepper and boots at any rate thank you all for joining us as always and we hope we can continue to say each and every night for the next year we'll see you next time all right we got the whole crew in here sophie's in here boots is in here pepper's not in here was pepper eating is that yeah. what y'all said yeah. <laughs> all right we got a homeschool hustler sale and you know what guys this has been one year they've been we've been doing videos for one year today what do you think of that thanks for thanks for spending the last year with us <laughs> that's awesome turner thanks so much buddy all right that's old reagan that's a, what is that thing uh, popple puffling. A popple pup, popples popple puffling. puffling. And that came from the Mount Plushmore sale. Sophie, crazy girl. And that came from the Mount Plushmore sale, and it sold for eleven dollars and thirty-five cents plus shipping. I think we took an offer on that one. So, all right, we're gonna check that sale out. But you guys, oh, look at boots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there she is, getting in trouble. All right, I'm gonna have you guys say goodbye, and then you're gonna go back there and take care of that cat for me. Okay. Yeah. All right, you can say goodbye. Bye. All right, and checking in on the Mount Plushmore sale, $10 more, $1,635 so far.